All right, guys, so I'm going to teach you how to make a very quick preview of your animation because some of you have been asking me this a lot. How do I make a preview of what you have playing on your on your Maya file? So the thing is, when you hit play right here in Maya and it plays, this might not necessarily be what's called real time or real time is what your audience is going to see when this is done. So because right now I only have one ball and I have uh, the the bottom ground here, there isn't much happening here. I don't have a lot of objects. I don't have a lot of environment here. So my computer it's not is not really slowing down. It could actually play it almost at real time. I would say because you can see here there's no lag. It's playing almost every frame here. Now what happens is when you start adding more. Um, more geometry, more polygons. Let's say you model a large environment and you have vehicles, you have buildings, you have all kinds of stuff in here. The more polygons that you add into your scene, so if you go in here and you start creating and you add more of this stuff, cubes or whatever, your computer is going to start slowing down. And when you hit play, it's not going to play this smooth. And some of you might, might already had this when you have a, a lot of stuff happening so what you want to do is you need to create what's called in Maya a play blast a play blast it's sort of different than a render render is when you're done with everything you have your lighting it's textured and, and, and it looks nice that's at the very end that's rendering but we don't want to render yet that takes a lot of time we just want to quickly be able to see our timing of our animation here we want to see what the audience is going to see. So the way that you create a preview is we come up here to window and then you go down here where it says play blast. That's actually what Maya calls a preview. So I want to come over here to the option box. Some of the options that we have. Now the first one is the time slider. This means it's going to create the preview or the play blast based on the time slider which is down here so whatever frames I have here you see it says 1 and then over here it says 60 it's going to create the play blast from frame 1 to 60 that's pretty much it and then you have start and end which you can specify what frame to start and then what frame to end but right now I'm going to leave it at time slider because I already have this set out and then your viewport that you want to render out to you just make sure you always have this checked on and then I never mess with any of this just make sure that's checked on and that's checked on and then leave these off and then here you have your format what type of uh, movie you want to output it into so you might have different formats depending on what type of uh, players you have in your computer you might have a MOV for like QuickTime I have Windows Media Player, so it has AVI, and then you have the option to render uh, uh, single frames, and then it'll try to play it using uh, some other type of player, which are ifs. But for right now, make it simple, AVI, and then your compression or your encoding. I usually recommend compressing this video, which means you're going to lose quality but the reason for that is because if you choose none that means when you play it in a windows media player it's going to be a very large file size because you're not using compression and you don't want a large file size like for two seconds for two seconds you should only have your video be about maybe a megabyte or less so if you have a large file size like maybe a hundred megabytes for two seconds it's going to lag big time and you're not going to see real time And so I'm going to show you if I don't add any compression, if I leave it high quality. All right. Even if you mess with this and you have it at none, it's still going to lag a little. So you don't want to do that. Here, you know, this is self-explanatory, the quality. And then the display size. I really don't mess with any of this. If you have something set up in your render, which is up here, this little button here, it'll make the play blast according to that size that you set up to and uh, so I don't mess with this you can customize it to be larger this is your width and height again I don't mess with this so I leave it from window 
which is this window here. And then you have scale, you know, you can actually mess with this here a little bit too. And then frame padding, I never touch that, I always leave it at four. This this is only related if you're gonna use this. If you're gonna render out single frames. Don't worry about that. And then you have here, I don't mess with this. I mean you could you could remove temporary files because when you make a playlist it gets stored into your temporary uh folder in your computer. But when you close it out it'll it'll delete all that. You can actually save it here. So right now I have this file going to my C drive and I called it BAW. And of course you can you know if you turn this off you're not gonna have access to it. You can't save it anywhere. So make sure you you click save to file and then you can tell it where. So say your desktop. And then I'm gonna call this bouncing ball and then hit save. Now here it tells you where it's at. Right. And my desktop called bouncing ball. And then what I can do is you can either hit apply or play blast, it doesn't matter. Then it's going to run through it and then it's going to show it to you. So now here it is on um, using Windows Media Player. Now this should be real time. This should be playing like what, what your audience is actually going to see. But you can see here it's not. It's actually faster on the Maya file than it is on Windows Media Player. Why? Because it made this this file it made it pretty large it probably created a you know the file size is probably maybe 70 megabytes or something like that for like two seconds which is very large you don't want that so what I'm telling you is you have to come in here to play blast settings and you want to choose a compression you can mess with any of these see which ones gives you the lowest file size with the uh, the highest quality in image for me I don't really care about the image quality what I really care about is a low file size so that it can play at, at real speed so again hit play blast it's still gonna save it play blast and then it's gonna ask me to overwrite the one that I already have saved so I'm gonna say yes overwrite it it's gonna run through it again when it's done it's gonna show it to me now you can see here this is actual real time this is what your audience is gonna see but now you can see in the background that it, you have horrible quality on on the back image and that's okay usually when you make play blast or previews this is the type of quality you need to be getting you need to see a low image quality and a very low file size but this will give you the best results for playing your videos at real speed or real time and this is what you need to start uh, using to view your animation and to see your timing and see how everything is going to work out before you actually render it so I'll probably get into rendering later or you can look at my uh, my walking tutorial part three I think I show you how to render in that light and stuff so this is very useful and you can actually you know it's already saved but you know you can come in here save as name it something else or whatever now that's one way to make the play blast there's also another shortcut now if you remember here if you go to this one this one gives you more options you get the time range now if I close it and watch if I go to my timeline where I have my frames and I right click on it and then you can let it go you see down here it says play blast I could also just click on it and it's gonna ask me again to override what I have and just say okay now that's a, a shortcut you can right click on your on your frames here on your time slider close that again and you know you have your your play blast down here which is pretty cool now like I said before if I go to my options you have slightly less options you can see up here I don't have my my time range or I can't customize the start and end time of my animation this is like I said it's only used as a shortcut so whatever you set and close this whatever you set up here see this one has a time range and start and end it's gonna remember these settings and it's gonna apply them down here so you can see here it says MS Cram. 
that's the compression that I'm using and AVI and it's saving it hit apply override and that's it now this is a very short tutorial and hopefully you guys will start using this make sure that every time you set keyframes and you adjust your timing so if I select this controller you see down here you have your your keyframes and stuff like that every time you you select something and you shift it and stuff like that make sure you make a playlist look at your timing make sure everything is looking realistic and it's moving the way that you want it because you can't always rely on this this play button over here so if I hit play like I said be, because I don't have a lot of things in my in my scene it's not really slowing down but right now it's using my RAM so if I add more crap and more crap and more objects and stuff like that then it's really gonna start slowing down and and you're not gonna be able to see it at real time so make sure you use Playblast. Alright, so catch you later on my next video.